What's up guys, it's Griffin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am here with Linus and I'm doing the furry friend tag one year later. I am outside so you might hear some random noises. There's a fountain right there, there are cars driving by. Like that one, like that, that car right there. It's taking its sweet old time. Good. This video is sponsored by BarkBox and I'm super excited about that because I actually found out about BarkBox like six months ago or so when I was talking to my mom and I was like, I need to sign Linus up for it. Anyways, I'm super excited because BarkBox reached out and now we are working together and I have a special code for you guys to get one free month with your six or 12 month plan. Make sure to go check it out. I will have a link right here and in the description below. It's BarkBox.com slash Griffin. Anyway, let's take a look as to what is inside our BarkBox this month. Let's open this bad boy. I'm hoping Linus doesn't like jump around and like try to attack me. Oh my gosh. Look at this toy. <laughs> He's like, we have this milk box chew toy, which is super cute, and I think Linus is already into it. Then we got the Rosie's peanut butter and banana soft dog treats, and I'm super excited to try these out with Linus. We should actually give him one right now, because he's being really good. They're all little heart shapes. They're vegan, gluten-free, and grain-free. I love it. So, like I said, all the treats are made in the US or Canada, and normally I'm against animal testing, but when it comes to giving them treats and letting them play with adorable toys, I am totally for it. This is super cute. All these toys are like innovative. I love it. It's an apple. Linus is like, like having a play day down here with these treats and this milk toy and now soon to join him the apple toy you can definitely tell that every month they hand or should I say paw pick all the innovative toys and all natural treats Linus just really wants this toy Get it. and what I love about BarkBox is that you can tell them how much your dog likes to chew if they have any allergies or anything and they can cater the box to you oh this is not happening the dog ate my homework toy. Crunchy Puffs. Irresistible Himalayan yak cheese in every bite. These puffs are the result of microwaving the leftover pieces from the Yeti Dog Chew or the Yeti Nuggets. Small pieces have been microwaved for approximately 60 seconds to reach this shape and size. Do you wanna try these too? He's literally grabbing the tree and running away with it because he's scared I'm gonna like take it away from him, but I clearly just gave it to him. Oh, now he's laying down and enjoying it. I love that all these toys and treats are from different local places that you might not know of otherwise, and I think it's really cool because now I'll be able to know like if Linus really likes these, I can reorder them. These ones are ham and cheese sammies. Oh, he likes the ham. Each box is themed. This one is clearly back to school with the milk box, the dog ate my homework, and the apple. But they have so many other themes like Who York City, which I love a good play on words, so obviously totally in for that. Country Fair, Bark Ball, and so many more. And if your dog doesn't absolutely love what they got in their box, Bark Box will send you something they do love for free because they're all about making sure that your dog is happy. There's free shipping with any Bark Box in the continental US. And when your dog falls in love with something from the box, you can go to BarkShop.com, the app, or text, and you can purchase it again for them. Did you sneak another treat? I need to put these away because you're gonna eat all of them. He's mad, he's mad that I'm putting them away. Now that we unboxed the Bark Box, we are going to get into the furry friend tag one year later with Linus here and he has a treat in his mouth and he's probably mad at me that I'm lifting him up right now because he wants to enjoy his treat. Okay, so I have the questions here on my phone so I will be looking at my phone to read off the questions. The first one is what is your animal's name? I'm sure all of you guys know this but his name is Linus and I was looking up baby names honestly when I saw, like when I found out I was gonna get a dog, I was was like, we're gonna look at baby names or like uncommon baby names. And I saw Linus and I fell in love with it. So I was like, Linus, that's gonna be his name. Question number two, what type of pet is it and what breed? He is a Pomeranian and he is obviously a dog. And one of the things that I said last time is contrary to popular belief, he is not a Q-tip or cat. And a lot of people still continue to think that, but no, he's just a little puppy. Question number three is how long have you had your pet friend? I think I got him around this time last year. I think I got him in December last year. Question number four, how did you receive your pet. So originally I wanted to adopt a dog and find one and rescue one, but um, I did find Linus on a website called Pet Finders and um, I went and looked at him and I fell in love with him. So I did decide to get him, but I would urge all of you guys to rescue an animal if you have the opportunity to, because I think rescuing is such a great thing. And there are so many dogs out there looking for a home. So I'll have a few links down below to like websites that you guys can check out where you can look at different dogs to adopt in your area. What are some quirky aspects of your dog's personality. Well, he likes to try to bite off your arm if you try to take anything away from him that he's enjoying. So, for example, if I tried to take away this treat from him right now, 
he might try to kill me. Super quirky, I know. He is so unbelievably protective of me. Like, I was in Arizona and my mom's dog was sniffing my bag and I wasn't even near. I was like, I think at the mall or something in Arizona and he got so angry at my mom's dog for sniffing my bag because he was like, that's my mom's bag. Like, he just got so angry and like, I don't know, he's a very protective dog. He can be super fun and playful and like, this morning I was playing like hide and seek with him and he was chasing me around the house for a little bit. Question number seven, what does your connection with your dog imply to you? Linus is pretty much the calm in my storm that I call life. He's just one of my favorite living creatures ever. I always say that my two favorite living creatures are Linus and my little brother. What are your favorite pastimes with your dog? I love taking him on little walks. Like every morning I'll go around the block with him and we'll just go on our daily little walks. So I like doing those little activities with him and he loves hide and seek. Playing hide and seek with him is my favorite but I, there always has to be like a second person because otherwise he's like not very good just playing him and I. I usually just wait until I have like a friend over and we'll play hide and seek with him, which I'm sure my friend is like, I didn't come over here to play hide and seek with your dog, but oh well. What are some of your pet's nicknames? I call him Bub, Little Stuff. What else do I call him? Liney. And my last question is what is your favorite thing about your dog? Um, my favorite thing used to be that he would fall asleep in your arms, but that was just when he was a little puppy. This entire thing does not fit in your mouth, Linus. But I think my favorite thing about Linus is that he's so protective over me and like some days I have really long days and he has to be in the kennel for a while but I get home and he's just so loving and he's like that's the thing about pets is like it's unconditional love no matter what and I I don't know I just love him so much but like I said you guys can check out barkbox.com slash griffin and you can get a free box with your six or 12 month plan and it is super fun a super innovative way to keep your dog entertained monthly so make sure to go check them out and if you guys use barkbox or you're going to use it leave a comment down below and let me know how your dog likes it all right you guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big paw up. Get it? Get it? I'm so funny. <laughs> anyway, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys later. Oh, also check out all my social medias. I will have them linked down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.